Welcome to Cambridge University Botanic Garden. My name is Leah Marie Collins. I'm one of the horticultural trainees. I've been training here uh, since last September and my traineeship will be um, a full year. Uh, we're currently in one of my favorite spots in the Botanic Garden, which is the Tropical Glasshouse Range. Uh, and I'm going to introduce you to three of my favorite plants. Uh, the plant that I'm standing under currently is the amazing Thumbergia mycerensis. This plant has been flowering non-stop since the start of our traineeship, and it might even keep on going for the whole time that we're here. This is an incredible plant and one of my favorites. Let's go see the rest. So this plant is the jade vine. Its Latin name is Strongolodon macrobotrys, and it really is a star plant of the moment. It's probably my uh, favorite plant in flower in the glass house. This plant is really special to see because it's rare in cultivation and the plant needs to be mature and healthy to create the inflorescence. So it's quite a privilege to get to see it at this amazing point. Uh, this plant has evolved a really special relationship with its pollinator. It's pollinated by a specific bat species that hangs upside down on the inflorescence, sticks its head inside of the perianth and drinks nectar. Uh, and as it does that, the perianth folds and deposits pollen on the bat's head, and then it can take the pollen off and pollinate the plant. Next, I'm going to talk about one of my uh, other favorite plants in the collection, which is the Aristolochia arborea. That's its Latin name, which is initially how I learned the plant. Um, but since its inflorescence has come out, uh, I've learned that its common name is the Darth Vader plant because its flower looks a bit like Darth Vader's helmet, which is quite exciting. Uh, so this plant uh, is just here. It's growing in a pot and it's a climber that has quite a lot of lignin in it. So that's why you might be thinking it just looks like a twig, uh, but it's not. It's actually climbing all the way up onto the second story of um, the glass house here. It flowers at the bottom um, of its stem. And the reason for that is it's pollinated by a gnat. It uh, tricks the gnat into believing that it's laying its eggs on a fungus that um, when the eggs hatch, they can have something to eat, but it is just the inside of the flower. The eggs roll off and that causes pollination. So unfortunately, the gnat uh, doesn't get a good deal out of this relationship, but the Aristolochia arborea has um, really developed this uh, special relationship between itself and the gnat that pollinates it. Thank you so much for joining me to see some of my favorite plants in the Tropical Glass House range. I hope that you all get the opportunity in the future to come and enjoy and explore these plant collections for yourselves.